Here is the Rock of Gibraltar. And yes, even British citizens need a passport to enter Gibraltar. I'm not even outside of the customs building yet. And here I can order a coffee in British pounds. All right. Whew. I made it out of passport control. Now it's time to see the peninsula. So here's a quick tip. Before you cross the airport runway, if you go through the parking lot of the supermarket out on the other side, there's actually a secluded beach that you can reach. The beach is called Western Beach. And as you can see, it's quite a relaxed atmosphere. Let's get a move on. All right, my top priority is to not allow a monkey to steal my camera. This is the active airport runway that you must cross. A lot of EasyJet flights coming from Britain. Yeah, that's quite a rock they got here. On the south side of the airport is the football stadium. The future stars of the Gibraltar national team hard at work. There's quite a large marina here. And that large ship, it's a hotel and casino. Also, that's lunch. Real estate's at a premium here. But it does look like McDonald's owns some real estate on Gibraltar. There's a little street art to be found in Gibraltar. Not bad. Now this is some really good street art. Not a bad view from the hostel. The bus station is right by the gates. There's always a Lennon fan. A nice square. Yeah, it's really too hot in July to do much of anything during the day. So I'm just sort of walking around downtown. The Royal Mail Office. This is Main Street, and you have to go this way to get to the cable car. Here is the cable car that goes to the top of the rock. And it's coming down. Not too many people today. I think it's just too hot. Apparently, some people do have swimming pools. <laughs> Made it to the top of the rock. That would be cool to see a plane take off. No luck yet. My friend here found some shade. Is this the best real estate in Gibraltar? Not a bad view. This poor beach over here on the east side is completely covered by the rock's shadow. Look what he stole. <laughs> Nursing baby. Hold on there, kid. Any piece of flat ground, they're going to make use of it here. I know you like stairs. 
It's the rarest of all breeds, the native Gibraltar cat. Lord Nelson always seems to get a lot of attention. I'm cheating a bit, taking the bus. Here is a relatively new mosque that was built on the south side of Gibraltar. Near the southern tip of the peninsula is the University of Gibraltar. And a Catholic church. It's small inside, but nice. They have to make good use of all the flat land they can find. This is where the rugby and football ground is for the university. From Harding's Battery here, you can look across the street and see Morocco. I bet you weren't expecting to see a Polish war memorial here. And I finally reached the southernmost tip of Gibraltar. Here's a little cottage, and there's the lighthouse. It's a very serene setting. Well, the Gibraltar airport isn't anything too special. Yep, standard airport. I decided to get a coffee here at the airport. Good view. All flights are going to London. It looks like a plane is about to take off. See you later, buddy.